यू नो वेरी वेल टाइम टू टाइम गवर्नमेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अ पे कमीशन फॉर एग्जामिनेशन एंड इवेल्युएशन ऑफ पेमेंट एंड अदर बेनिफिट ऑफ देयर एम्प्लॉय वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑफ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इट इज मोटिवेशन एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस मोटिवेशन in particular reference of indian administration as you know this topic though comes under the unit 3 of paper 1 but in that particular paper sometime upsc connect the concept of motivation with the indian administration last year this kind that kind of question was there so we delve into this topic in the way to identify the aspect of uh, this motivation for particularly our administration indian administration so let us begin the topic you can understand this topic with two interesting picture two or three see here an ias officer from the assam cadre she devoted herself for the welfare of flood to victims even she himself she uh, visited that flood affected affected area and now you can is imagine how a uh, struggle commitment devotion was there again here a popular ias officer he is parmeshwaran ayer secretary of uh, telangana he is doing cleaning job a uh, bit cleaning work bit cleaning work he is conducting again consider this a very popular ias officer he is armstrong pips now the story of armstrong pen is very known to everyone what he did so when people requested him for a permanent road connectivity he first identified some government scheme and plan thereafter when he realized that no such plan specific policy is there so he took initiative then right wrote a facebook message to all their viewers and arranged about 40 lakh rupees for the construction of the work that is the ruler road now these are some example that provide us insight how a motivated civil servant for the purpose of people well being people development even upliftment of the society can contribute not only with their physical strength but also for their with their initiatives with their their efforts but on other hand we have multiple example that sees that sometime our officers behave differently in their work or even against the code of conduct like here the ivs officer touching the feet of politicians again beating of innocent public so these are again here the attitude of this jagdi sunkar an ias officer once it was very popular again here the samuel pauls statement that government is not a zomato again act of corruptions of several ips ias officer what reveals it unveils that some of the officers heavily plagued with corruptions they are looking to fulfill their personal interest that is quite contrary quite uh, different from the administrative values ethics so here with two contrary two different picture we can assume with 
पॉजिटिव मोटिवेशन विथ द पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड सम एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर इन्वेस्ट देयर फुलेस्ट कॉम्पिटेंट फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ पब्लिक सर्विसेस वाइल सब आर लुकिंग टू फुलफिल देयर पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट पर्सनल डिजायर टू डोमिनेट टू बी अ वेरी वेल्दी इंडिविजुअल सो इन दिस रिस्पेक्ट इफ वी कंसिडर द थ्योरी ऑफ मोटिवेशन वी मे आइडेंटिफाई सम डिटर्मिनाट सम आस्पेक्ट ऑफ इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सो लेट इस स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन ऑन थ्योरी ऑफ मोटिवेशन एज यू नो दिस थ्योरी मोटिवेशन इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ ब्रांच ऑफ अ अम्ब्रेला थ्योरी दैट वॉज द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव बिहेवियर सो इट वॉज नाइनटी थर्टीज लेट नाइनटी थर्टीज under the leadership under the guidance of chester i bernard herbert simon even chris argaris group of scientists including abraham maslow herzberg uh, elderfer macgregor attempted to explore the idea of motivation at workplace it was abraham maslow who suggested that the intensity of human needs varies means first of all human physical need determines its behavior that is hunger that is thirst thereafter human carry for their security need there after social belongingness need there after even the self esteem recognition need there after it comes self actualization again herzberg identified two different aspect of motivation it was hygiene factor that is fundamental for maintaining the level of dissatisfaction means hygiene factor determines that no dissatisfaction occurs at workplace while motivating factors are different and they their impact basically decides the work of individual again elder for macgregor explained this theory differently these are the theory earlier theory that were considered as the part of content theories what is the meaning of content theory here you need to be clear very well content means these are the element element lies outside the human personality like it is suppose money or monetary benefit it is suppose house it is suppose education facilities it is suppose vehicle facilities recognition it is etc so earlier a scholar attempted to identify the impact of such element on the behavior of human and they explained that human behavior is the result of the need desire of that particular external factor soon after that it was about 1940 50 around the new group of a scholar came and they attempted to explain the mechanism of the motivation they held they felt that person to person the impact of the element varies some people may have affection may have obsession for money like suppose here if i take example so we have multiple is officer they later found corrupt and even case on that officer is going on but some people are being motivated or motivates with suppose their self desire self desire it is for satisfaction it is for the uh, achievement it is for a very dedication so if people are different so there must be different element different mechanism for the motivation it was the central idea of the process theorist under process theory 
Victor Bruns forwarded the idea of expectancy theory. And they said person motivation varies as per their expectation, as per their valence, as per means combining attitude, how much we are, uh, we connected our goals with our work, our life. Again, instrumentality, thereafter again, path goal theory given thereafter John S. Adams forwarded the idea of equity theory. So this way, two branch of motivation evolved over the time. Process theory is considered as more practical but a complex theory. It requires understanding, examination, evaluation of the mind and soul of each and every individual. So in real world or we can say if organization is quite large, quite massive, in that case process theory, implementation of process theory will be difficult at that place. So uh, content theory provides us fundamental idea. As far as the Indian administration is concerned, the commendable, very phenomenal work over were done by sixth pay commission. You know very well, time to time, government constitutes a pay commission for examination and evaluation of payment and other benefits of their employee. So it was sixth pay commission, pay commission identified that the motivation at workplace is a result of combination of two different factors. The first factor commission identified was transactional. What was transactional factor? So it was monetary factors including the basic pay, dearance allowance, house rent allowance, city uh, compensatory allowance, convenience allowance, etc. While a relational benefit to commission Pay Commission identified that relational benefit are pride of having an association with an organization. Suppose government organization is there. So some may have the uh, feeling of pride with the government. Again, working with the government. Again, job challenges and satisfaction. If there is a very routine work, in that way, what happens? Level of motivation gradually decreases. But if work is very dynamic, challenging, even very vibrant, in that case, it itself motivates, impact the individual. Again, opportunity for learning and advancement, sense of being part of nobler causes, like suppose, if there is feeling of national services, like we are working uh, our jobs for nation building. In that case, that patriotic feeling would be there and it may encourage ourselves for a better performance. So this was the, again, in nutshell, the pay commission said it is it also comprises the employment, security, respect in society, balance between work and life, opportunity to be a part of larger cows and variety of job profile. So these are the determinant. They, these are the factor that determines the overall performance as per the pay commission, transactional and relational. Later, pay commission identify that uh, in India, the level of motivation among the civil services is not very satisfactory, is not very, uh, very up to the mark. Why? So, Pay Commission not only provided us region, but also identified the status. Pay Commission said, government employees are generally demotivated with poor self-perception and it reflects in low morale and no performance. Again, a uh, other factor like rewarding performance system, all are very 
poor even performance is not always used for motivation public servant rarely walks the extra miles they maintain a status quo with their work and performance so these are the findings of our pay commission again you can add some more points like there is a very rude arrogant behavior of our civil servant they maintains distance uh, from their uh, service seeker even there is a very gap between political representative and the civil servant so these are multiple factors we can recognize that may provide us idea that there is a low level of motivation so as far as the reason is concerned why such a low level of motivation is there we can uh, not only con consider here the idea the findings of pay commission but also we can take here other things like you know very well as far as the working condition is concerned so in our administration the poor working is conditions are very common very usual particularly in a rural remote area you cannot even find a well maintained accommodation even they have to maintain their services with very uh, limited staff limited equipments again as far as the initiatives and the innovation is concerned so suppose we are looking to provide our consumers the very optimal services so it requires some sort of freedom innovation initiative but our rule based rigid bureaucracy prohibits such kind of innovation and initiative again there is a rule block of the hierarchical system that prevail in our bureaucracy it requires to follow a through of proper channel it means a lower level employee must have to take assent must have to take the suggestions of their higher level authority if he attempt to implement a new kind of exercise so this way sometime it becomes very difficult for a bureaucrats to implement a very innovative idea innovative thoughts again a uh, pay commission identified that look uh performance payment for performance if they contributed very extraordinary means suppose they uh concluded particular plan and policy with desired result in that case there is no such set criteria or even method that may recognize their contribution they may provide more satisfaction like maslow identified means it has no such no such recognition again again no such external motivation for risk taking delivering a higher level of performance because a uh, thought the risk taking is punished if things go wrong if suppose some takes their uh, inno innovation initiative figure out or they implement it it may be subject of punishment from higher authority so that is why due to a structural functional even uh, monetary even uh, political and even social regions what happens to our administration faces bottleneck faces a road block and that is why very low level of motivation persist in our system in our bureaucracy the question is that how can we sort out this issue handle this issue so it required a multifaceted multi uh, dimensional a strategical we can say in a word 
a strategical effort for that we need to implement some structural reform like we should implement the flat organization fluid organization for particular job like suppose development administration like suppose infrastructure development even the metropolitan area development we can uh, reward and recognize the civil servant for their extraordinary performance again we should consider people with high intellectual ability may express may follow self control and self regulations what harjwar identify so we should provide them opportunity for self regulation self control if all such things is under the prescribed stipulated code of conduct then administration must incorporate the things again our uh, pay commission said that that the better career opportunity designed for better career opportunity should be created again pay commission highlighted that post in foreign countries like suppose foreign a uh, conference at different uh, places like in california like in johannesburg so there must be opportunity for other officer except or other than ias officer irs even uh, ifs officer indian forest services employee should also opportunity to be a part of that conference so it may create some positive impact in the heart and mind of that things so this kind of positive impact again again a performance evaluation system so it is a very crucial aspect for management if employee has performed a very good result in that case he must be recognized by the organizations by the society so this way we can manage our performance related issue so the nutshell is that motivation among the civil servant has been a fundamental concern for public administration and we can deal this with multifaceted effort like suppose performance evaluation better uh, better career development opportunities even opportunities for self control self regulations even a reward and recognition so this way we can say over the time it is not a very radical change it require time effort even deliberation for overall change so we should invest we should delve into different aspect and finally then we may have better result so this way we can say we can manage the motivation level in india administration so this is all about the indian administration and motivational concern in the next session we may have a different topic of public administration hope you enjoyed this video and very thank you all for watching this session